what a joy it is to come back and to talk to you again. I need this, and I pray you do too. Well, since I last saw you, uh, I no longer wear a hat because I have hair on my head. Funny thing, God's sense of humor. I had a major event to attend over New Year's, and you couldn't wear a hat. So I bought a toupee, and the very next day, the next day, I'm talking, I was bald as a cue ball. And the next day, I started to grow hair and fast. So it's not back to where it was, but it's growing. Now, let me talk about the spiritual principle of what I just said. Often, we focus so much during our prayer time on what we don't have that it negates our prayer that it takes away that it strips its power so today i'm going to talk about advanced prayer techniques you know in my own life with my father and mother they tried for four years to conceive a child they couldn't do it they they went to specialists everything it wasn't until they decided to stop trying and go the route of adoption and found a child that they could adopt that I was conceived. Many times we are looking for a job. We can't find a job because we're so aware in our prayer that we are living in lack. We're missing something. We don't have what we want and therefore that becomes the dominant prayer that we maintain that one of the most misunderstood things in all of Christianity is the teaching of free will that you have free will now that's not just a freedom it is a free will to choose. Well, you say, I want to choose rightly. There is a huge difference between thinking and feeling. There is a million miles between the head and the heart. Now, listen to me, this is important. God has your back. You don't need to convince God. You need to convince you. You need to convince you, not only in your thinking, oh yes, you know what you want, but do you really feel it? Do you feel that you have it right now? That is the whole thing. Thinking is male. Feeling is female. It is one of the laws of creation that you have the feminine and the masculine. And then that creates, after a coming together, a creation. Well, it is also true in you. You have to bring the feminine and the masculine together equally. Not just thinking something 90% and feeling it 10. You have to have an equal part. Well, how do you feel something that you got it? You need to convince yourself. That's why we include an affirmation every day. And you need to start writing your own to say what you want. Not just what you want, but that you already have it. See, when I had the toupee, I had it already. Although I looked like some kind of English lawyer with it sitting on my head, I hated it. But when you have something in your grips, that you know that you have control of it, it is a 
big thing towards answered prayer. It is something that can manifest your dreams. It's the whole way we created positive Christianity. Out of nothing, it was something that uh, happened. Of course, I had to do a lot of convincing of myself that this was possible. Someone that didn't own a computer, somebody that didn't know how to type, somebody that's a terrible speller. I tell you, my friend, don't just think your prayers. Feel your prayers equally. Feel it at the core of your soul that what you're praying for is not only possible, but here's the other thing, that it's already happened. You need to convince yourself that it's already happened, that it's yours. It's not something far in the future. It's not something for your retirement. It's not something for you to dream about coming a long way away. <laughs> no, right now. You have it right now. Now, are you going to be able to think and feel your prayers automatically beginning tomorrow? Probably not. It took me a long time and I still struggle with this. It is an ongoing struggle, but once you have it, you have it. It is yours. It is something that is your own ownership of what you are praying for. Now, next step, become your prayer. Don't just pray for something abstract. You have to become it. If you're praying to become a magnificent person, you become a magnificent person. If you're praying for friendship, you become the friend. If you're praying for love, you become the love. Totally. In your thinking and feeling and your actions that come from that causation level. You're going to be able to do this. Now I've given you a lot and I've given you a lot fast. Advanced prayer techniques but listen again and again if you need to because I know of nothing that I've given you that could change your life more than this. And I guess it's a good message for me to come back online with. Thinking and feeling. Advanced prayer techniques. Making you the creator of your life that you want with God's total backing coming through your own free will. It's a joy to be back with you again. An absolute joy. I send you my love, and I'll be seeing you again very shortly. God bless you.